Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're going to learn about numbers and expressions. Seventeen minus sixteen. So if I wanted to write this as a verbal expression, okay, I would, well, I see the subtraction, I see the difference, right? So we would actually write this as the difference, all right, the difference of 17 and 16, okay? So we have the difference of 17 and 16. So 4 plus Eight. So we have four, let me go a little nicer, four plus eight, okay? Well, how would I write this as a verbal expression, okay? Well, we have something plus like more, right? So this one kind of goes backwards a little. We have eight more than four, okay? So here we're going to see we have eight more than four, okay? Three to the third power, okay? Well, if I want to write this as a verbal expression, I would write it as 3 to the, right? Because we get an exponent, right? 3 to the, and what power was the third? So we, we can just write it as the third, okay? And that's it. We just have 3 to the third, okay? 9 plus 10, okay? So we have 9 plus 10. Well, how do we write this as a verbal expression, okay? Well, we can start with another, there's many ways to write it, but one way, we start with 9, and 9 is increased, right, increased by 10, okay? So here we have that plus sign, it's another way of saying the plus sign, increased by. So again, we have 9 increased by 10. 4 to the third power. Okay, 4 exponent 3. Well, how do we write this? What? There's many ways to show it, and I'm going to show it like this. We have 4 cubed. And there we have it. Another way of writing this. 4 cubed. 12 plus 9. Okay. Well, a way we can write this, plus sign, we think of sum, right? A sum. So we have the sum of, and the two numbers are 12 and 9, right? So we have the sum of 12 and 9 is 12 plus 9. 11 plus 11. Pretty easy, easy right? Well, this one, we're going to do a pretty quick way. I'm really going to say it how, uh, write it how we say it, right? 11 plus 11. So 11 plus, oops, <laughs> we're almost got the L there, 11. And there we have our answer, 11 plus 11. 20 minus 7. So we have 20 minus 7. All right, so what do we do here? Well, a way we can write this, when we subtract something, all right, and we can say it's less than, right? So we actually can reverse this, right? We have 7 less than 20. And what that's really saying is 7 less than 20, right? And we have that 20 and we're taking 7 from it. So that's what that expression will mean. 7 less than 20. All right? So there's our final answer. 16 minus 7. All right? 16 minus 7. All right? Well, the way we see subtraction, we can write it as the difference of two numbers there, right? So we can write this one as the difference... The difference of, and our two numbers, 16 and 7. 16 and 7. And there we have it, our final answer. 2 times 9. Okay? So there's many ways to write this 2 times 9. Okay? But the way I'm going to choose to write it here is we take 9 and we have twice that, right? So we're twice 9. So here we're going to have twice 9. And that's it. and to the second power, okay? So a way we can write this, all right, a way we can write this is the second, all right, so we talk about the power first, the second power of, and the number being the base, two, okay? So 
Here we have the second power is referring to that exponent 2, and then of 2 is the base, this 2 right there. So 21 minus 8, okay? So we have 21 minus 8 here, okay? Well, we need to write this as a verbal expression, okay? So one of the things with subtraction going on there, we can write that as the difference, okay? So here we have the difference, the difference of, and then our two numbers, first one being 21, 21 and 8. And there we go, our final answer. Ten less than fourteen. Okay, so in this case here, we're taking ten less than fourteen. Okay, ten less than fourteen. So we actually would write the fourteen first, and we're taking ten from it. So that's subtraction that goes with it. So we would write this as fourteen minus ten. Half of sixteen. Okay, so if I want to write this as an algebraic expression, well, to take the half of something is dividing it by 2. And we actually can write this as a fraction. 16 divided by 2 is we're taking half of 16. The quotient of a number and 6. So we have the quotient of a number and 6, okay? Well, with the quotient, that's going to be division, right? Division, right? The quotient, I'm going to make a fraction here. The quotient of a number, let's call it n, number n, and 6 underneath. And there we go. Our final answer, n divided by 6. V squared. Well, I have v squared, okay, v squared, and I want to write that as an algebraic expression. So I start with the letter v, okay, and then to square it, I put a little exponent up top with 2, and there we have it. That's it, v squared. t more than 9. So we're going to, when it says t more than 9, we're actually taking 9 and adding t to it, right? More than is we addition. So we had to take our 9 first then add t to it, okay? So we have t more than, or t more than 9, so 9 plus t. 3 cubed. So we have 3 cubed here, okay? Well, we start with 3, and we know cubed means to the third power. So we put an exponent here of 3, and that's it. We have our final answer, 3 cubed. The quotient of 24 and 8. So the quotient of 24 and 8, okay? Well, quotient is going to be division here. So division here, so we're dividing here, making a fraction. The quotient of 24 and then 8 in the denominator, and there we have it. Our final answer, 24 divided by 8. The sum of 2 and 12, okay? So we have the sum of 2 and 12. Well, if I want to combine that together, the sum is going to be addition, right? So we're going to add them together. So we start with the 2, that was written first. Here's the sum, and then we have 12 second. So the sum, addition, excuse me, and then 2 and 12, 2, 12. So here we have our final answer, 2 plus 12. P cubed. So I want to write P cubed as an algebraic expression. So we start with P, all right, that's the variable, and then cubed is the exponent to the third power. So that's it. Our final answer is P to the third power. The product of 5 and x. So we have the product of 5 and x. Well, product, that means multiplication. So we're going to multiply 5 and x. So to do that, well, we just write 5 
and x. And we know when we have a constant next to a variable, there's always multiplication. So we don't need to necessarily put the dot there. So we can leave it as this. But if you want, you can see it's the same thing as having that multiplication sign right there. And that's it. Our final answer. 2 to the 4th. So 2 to the 4th, okay? So what we start here, we start with 2 at our base. We have 2 right there. And then when they say to the 4th, they're referring to the exponent. So the 4th power, the 4, is in the exponent. And there we have it. 2 being the base, 4th is the exponent. Twice 11. So if we have twice 11, that's another way of saying it's 2 times 11. Twice as big, right? 2 times. So to do that, we have 2 multiplication times the number 11, right? And that's it. We're done. 2 times 11. <laughs> 10 minus 6. So we're given 10 minus 6. So now let me write this uh, as an algebraic expression. So we have 10 minus subtracting 6. So 10 subtract 6, and then now we have to evaluate that. 10 minus 6 is just 4. And so our final answer here is just 4. 2 cubed. So when I have 2 cubed, I can write this as an algebraic expression of 2 to the third power, okay? So if 2 cubed is 2 to the third power. Well, 2 to the third power really means 2 times 2 times 2, okay? That's what it means to the third power. Three twos being multiplied together. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, times another 2 is 8. So we have a final answer of just 8 right here, okay? So twice 12. So I have twice 12. Well, when I have twice something, that's me two times that. So we have twice 2 times 12, okay? So now we have to evaluate 2 times 12. Well, 2 times 12 is just 24. So we have 24 right there, and that's it. Our final answer is just 24. 11 increased by 5. So we have 11 increased by 5, right? So to write this as an algebraic expression, we start at 11, and the increased means we're adding something to it. So increased by 5. So now we just have 11 plus 5. Well, 11 plus 5 is just 16, and so our answer here is just 16. 6 times 10. So we have 6 times 10, all right? Well, I have to write that as an algebraic expression. So 6 times 10 times means multiplication. So we have 6 multiplied by 10, okay? Well, this one's fairly easy now to simplify. 6 times 10 is 60, and so our final answer here is just 60. 4 times 8. So we have 4 times 8. Well, multiplication here is the same thing as times. That's what it's saying. Times is for multiplying. So we have 4 multiplied by 8. Now we have our algebraic expression. Then from there, we have to simplify this, right? So 4 times 8 is just 32. And so our final answer here is just 32. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use Minute Math, MinuteMathTutor.com.